Hey YouTube, this is Clayton from Next Gen Windows, and today's review is Xbox Video. Xbox Video is the video application that pretty much replaced uh, that portion of Zoom software. So, uh, if you haven't heard, the Zoom brand is completely dead, and Microsoft has changed it to the Xbox brand. They've changed the branding of Xbox from just gaming console to basically their entertainment brand, which is partially why I put it under this entertainment tagline. Uh, but here's the live tile and here we go in. You can see the little splash screen shows the little tablet thing with the play button in the center. And here is the spotlight view or part of Xbox video. You can see it's signing into my Xbox Live account. So now I'm signed in. Uh, but spotlight is pretty straightforward like every other application. Uh, you can view all of your videos and stuff, the, the most popular things under Spotlight or the most recent things under Spotlight. So if we were to click like the Avengers or something, you could view the information, buy it, rent it, explore the movie, and even play the trailer. Playing the trailer would play it inside the uh, app itself. It wouldn't open some third party thing. So if we right click and we want to pause it, copyright reasons, we can do that. And you can see it shows in this thing, it replaces this live tile instead of showing a picture like it shows here for this other thing. Uh, it shows that I actually started playing it, and if you click it, it starts playing it again. Now it actually shows the price, and that's a really good thing. It shows the price is 99 cents to rent it. That's actually a good deal. I might actually go for it later today. But on a side note, uh, six Xbox, I mean, six HBO shows for $2.99. It tells you little advertisements of what each thing you know is doing. So HBO TV sampler page, which means HBO is eventually going to add probably one of their featured shows content in the square and tile instead of uh, this little placement, this little placeholder. You can see they show a whole bunch of little other things, the most popular things people would probably see on Xbox. You can go to the movie store by scrolling over. Oops, sorry for that. Let me use this at the bottom. You can use a movie store by scrolling over and one thing you got to have a quick note for is you can't click on any heading in any application unless there's an arrow next to it otherwise it just won't work so as you can see this arrow made it so that this thing turns uh, gray once I hover over it or uh, you can even do a whole bunch of things you can when you click this it takes you into it and you can see new releases feature top selling genres and studios now for genres for instance if we were to choose this arrow this drop down arrow right here you could view all the genres that they have available they have a whole lot of genres available you can see top rented by you can arrange it by top rented top selling uh, and release date and studios you can obviously arrange it by which studio made it there's a whole lot of studios and also when we see this new releases you can't narrow it down because these are just the newest things that are released and I'm pretty sure that they're ordering it by when each thing was released on the Xbox uh, video store so movie store at least uh, when you see this part right here I'm pretty sure this came out today or the most recent thing that came out was this and then so on and so forth you know uh, you keep seeing like the Raven came out a while ago I heard that Rock of Ages came out a while ago so that's why it's so far back and so on so if we go back we'll just use this bottom thing you can also swipe obviously television store does the same thing when you click into it it shows the most featured the newest releases so the walking dead and a whole bunch of other things were the most recent uh, releases you can go to featured and see the featured featured television stuff so like uh, Breaking Bad, Smallville, Dragon Ball Z surprisingly is still there uh, late night shows things that come on late at night uh, top selling and genres again you can click this arrow to see a drop down menu and you click this to arrange drop down menu networks is TV networks that the shows show up on and if we go to the other side of the spotlight you can view my videos so the, the my videos is actually all the videos that you viewed on your Xbox or computer videos that you've created 
or videos that you've downloaded. So it's all of that stuff right there. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm viewing, what I'm noticing right here is that these are all the videos that I've downloaded. You saw I downloaded this in a, as a sample in one of my other uh, reviews. Um, I, I think it was YouTube RT. And uh, it was, it's, it's a good application for, you know, if, if you need to quickly view what you want. So like if I was to click the Avengers and I want to explore the movie, you click explore movie. And when you hit buy or rent, you can view, you can actually, and also if you view more, you can see related videos and stuff. But if you, when you click buy or rent, or we'll click rent, tells you to type in your password. When you type in your password, uh, once you purchase it and everything, it allows you to have a selection choice. It allows you to either view the movie on your PC or you can view it on your Xbox. And of course, you can. It doesn't push to the Windows Phone, but you can also uh, push where uh, watch it on your Windows Phone if it's if it's all the same account. But those are some cool features of Xbox Music. And the last thing I want to show you guys is that when you right click or you swipe in from the bottom, you get extra stuff. So you can see open file, previous play, you know your uh, navigating your media settings. So that's it for this trailer that was playing. And then you can hit playback options. So you see play on Xbox 360. You can hit uh, repeat and closed captioning and this little thing that's not available I don't know whether this isn't available for this video or it's just a feature that hasn't been added yet but aside from that that has been Xbox video for Windows 8 and it's a really good application in my opinion I would use it since it gets you straight to the point in and out just like Microsoft wants you to do uh, like how their ad slogan was like to keep you away from your phone something, something on that line so that you're not always into your phone uh, when you're not always into your computers like you don't want to stay on your computer too long you just want to get in and get out uh, this is a good thing to do for videos so you just want to check out a movie get in check out a movie and get out and start watching it that's a good thing that you can have to uh, another a good application that you can use to watch your movies your TV shows and other videos this has been Quakey from Next Gen Windows, and if you like this video, uh, give it a like or a thumbs up actually, and leave a comment below if you have anything extra to add or you'd like me to review anything else, any suggestions, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.